We're here to pre-record the class of Shabbos, Shvi Lech Lecha, chapter 17, verse 7. We learned in Friday's class that Avraham, Abraham, was 99 years old, and God appeared to him and told him that you need to walk before me and be complete and whole, and complete and whole also alludes to circumcision. Then you will receive many blessings, including the blessing of being fruitful and multiply. Verse 7. V'hakimesi, and I will establish as brisi my covenant, b'niyu b'necha, between me and you. Uvein zaracha acharecha, and between your seed after you. L'deireisam, for all generations. L'bris elam, for an eternal and everlasting covenant. Liyes. To be, lecha to you, lelekim, as a God, ulezaracha acharecha, and to your seed after you. Seven, makimesi, es brisi, umahi, habris, what is the covenant? Lies, lecha, lelekim, to be a God to you. Eight, venasati, lecha, and I will give to you, ulezaracha acharecha, and to your seed after you. Which means that God is telling Abraham, I will give you and your children after you ace eretz migorecha, the land where you are dwelling. Ace kol eretz Canaan, the entire land of Canaan, la chuzas elam, for an everlasting possession. Vahayisi lohem leilekim, and I will be to them, to your descendants, to your seed, as a god. Rashi, la chuzas elam, I will give you Israel as an eternal and everlasting portion. Vishom and there, Eheye lochem, I will be to you, Lelekim, as a God. Avo ba tador bechutz loretz, one who dwells in Israel. I'm sorry. Avo ba tador bechutz loretz, one who dwells in the diaspora. Outside of Israel, Deima is like Kemisha ein leyalaka, like one who has no God. That when we live in Israel and when we're connected to Israel, <coughs> then we feel God upon us. But when we are forced to dwell in the diaspora outside of Israel, it is as if we have no God. And needless to say, this is a very complex statement because first of all, Rashi himself lived in France. And second of all, for thousands of years, Jews have lived in the diaspora. What does this mean? It has many meanings. First of all, the greatest realization of godliness is surely when the Beis Amigdash stands and when the Jewish people are in Israel and offerings are brought, and that's the completeness and perfection of the Jewish people, <coughs> which will come about, God willing, when Mashiach comes very soon. But in the interim, we have to know that the center, the heart, the essence of the Jew is Israel not only geographically, but more so than that spiritually. And here is where certain commentaries make a point that there are two ways of expressing the word dwelling. One is gor, and the other is dor. One is gimoresh, and the other is dalidresh. Rashi says, hador bechutz loretz. What is the difference between gor and dor? We learned earlier, ki ger yezaracha, stranger. Gor is stranger. Door is permanence. When somebody lives in the diaspora and he feels a sense of permanence that this is his land, I am a Frenchman, I am a German, I am an American, and that's what I am, and leave me alone, that sense of permanence could lead to a sense of separation from Hashem. But when a Jew knows that wherever he lives, he has to establish Eretz Yisrael wherever he is, and the centrality of God and of Eretz Yisrael has to be eternally present in one's heart and mind, and one must be constantly aware and cognizant that any moment we will merit to realize the coming of Mashiach. That is Hagor Bechutz Loretz. That's a temporary dwelling in the diaspora, and somebody could temporarily live in the diaspora and be connected to Hashem and to Israel. As the Rebbe would say from time to time when he would speak about the importance of a strong Eretz Yisrael, the Rebbe often said that someone can live in Jerusalem, but he can feel that the reality, his reality is in Washington, D.C., and someone can live in the diaspora, 
and he can feel that his reality is Jerusalem. There's a lot more to be said about that, but we'll continue now with verse 9. And God said to Abraham, Viato, and now, I'm sorry, Viato, and you, as Brisi Tishmer, you must keep my covenant. Ato you vizaracha acharecha on your seed after you ledir esam throughout all generations. Nine veato vov zu this letter vov meisif al inyurishin amplifies and adds to the first subject ani hine brisi itach behold my covenant is with you veato and you have izoy l'shomrei be careful to guard it. Omahi ashmira what does it mean zeis brisi asher tishmeru himelachem leading up to the mitzvah of circumcision. Verse 10, Zeis Brisi, this is my covenant, Asher Tishmeru, which you shall observe and keep, Beini between me, Uveinechem and you, Uvein Zaracha Acharecha, and your seed after you, He male Lochem Kol Zachar. Every male amongst you shall be circumcised. Ten Rashi, Beini Uveinechem, Eisem Shalachshav, this refers to those present, Uvein Zaracha Acharecha, the seed, Ho Asidin Livod, who will be born, He male Li He male, to be circumcised. Do to do. Eleven unamaltem, and you shall circumcise eis besar laschem the flesh of your foreskin. and it shall be la eis bris for a sign of a covenant beini between me uveinechem and between you. Unamaltem kame umaltem you shall circumcise the hanun by yisaid ali said hanefel be leprokim, and the nun is added to the root and could be occasionally absent from it. Twelve. At the age of eight days old, shall be circumcised to you, every male, not only in this generation, but throughout all generations, Yelid boys, children born in the house, umiknas kesef, and those acquired with money, mikil benecha from any foreigner, asher leimizarachahu, who are not of your seed, also must be circumcised, referring to a Jew <coughs> who would purchase a slave back then. The slave, even though born a non-Jew, would have to be circumcised, and ultimately every slave becomes a Jew, and a liberate sla- liberated slave becomes a full Jew. Twelve, you lead boyis sheyoladetay ashiv chababayis. When the maid servant gave birth to this child in the house, miknas kesef shekanol mishanelad purchased. So there are two ways of acquiring a slave. One is when one's maid servant gives birth to the slave, and the other is acquiring. They both require circumcision. Thirteen, he mel yimel you lead beischol miknas kaspecha. He must surely circumcise those born in the household as well as those acquired with money. And my covenant shall be in your flesh, as an eternal, everlasting covenant. Thirteen. He doubles up on the text. And here he doesn't say eight. To teach you that sometimes you can have somebody born in the house who was circumcised not on the eighth day, but after eight days, all those situations are explained in great detail in the Talmud. 14, the Orel Zohar, but an uncircumcised male, who will not circumcise <coughs> the flesh of his foreskin, that soul will be cut off from his people. Okay. V'nichreso ha-nefesh ahi me'ameha, that soul will be cut off from his people. As brisi hefar, he broke my covenant. So that circumcision is a very central, fundamental precept which breaks the entire covenant and connection between the Jew and God if a Jew is not circumcised unless there's a good reason. The orel zochar, a male uncircumcised, Khan here, Lima, the Torah teaches us, Shahamila Baisimokam Shunikar. That circumcision is in that place where it's distinguishable, Bain Zochal and Akeva between male and female. Meaning, up to now, we don't know what circumcision means. Here, it tells us that it's talking about the foreskin of the male member. Asher Yimel, Mishyagila Khal Ainishin, when 
he reaches the age of punishment, then his soul shall be cut off. The father, who is negligent in circumcising his son, does not receive the cutting off of his soul, but he's punished by transgressing due to the transgression of a positive commandment. The meaning of chorus means somebody goes childless and dies prematurely. 15. And God says to Avram, Sarai, your wife, her name shall no longer be called Sarai, her name will be Sora. 15. My princess, Li to me, and not to others, Kisara, Stam Shmo, she will now be unqualified. Shetei Sora, Alakel, she will be princess over all. And this is the fact that Abraham and Sarah become the patriarch and matriarch not only of the Jewish people, but of the entire world. 16. Uvei so and I will bless her. Begam and furthermore, Nasati mi men alechabein, I will give, I will have given you a son from her, Ovedachti, and I will bless her, Vahaisa legayim, and she will be the mother of nations, Malchei amim, kings of nations, mi men oyil, shall come forth, shall descend from her. Ovedachti, I shall bless her, Omahi abracha, what is the blessing? Shechazra lina arusa, that she returned to her youth. Shenemar, as it says, Haisa li edna, there was youth to me. By allowing her breasts to come alive, and she'll be able to breastfeed. When she required it, on the day of the party which was thrown to celebrate the birth of Yitzchak, people were murmuring and mumbling and gossiping, <coughs> saying that Sarah did not have a baby, Abraham did not have a baby. But they accused them of Shevi or Asupi Minashuk that they found the baby, and they brought the baby to their house. And they're claiming, Benenu said, this is our son. So, there was a challenge. How do you prove the truth of the fact that she is a mother? She nurses. So every woman brought her own baby. Without her nursemaids, Sora had enough milk to nurse all of those children who hate Shenem, or that's why the verse says later, Heinika Vonim, Sarah, plural, that Sarah merited to nurse children. This is alluded to in the Medrash. 17. When Avram heard these words from Hashem, he fell upon his face by Yitzchak and he rejoiced. And he said to himself, Wow, this is amazing. At 100 years old, I will be a father of children. Vim Sora habas tishim shona teilet. And Sora will be a mother at age 90. Rashi vayipal Avram alpana vayitzchak zet tirgum unkles loshen simcha. This word, unkles, translates as an expression of joy. V'chodei he rejoiced. V'shel Sora, but soon it says, v'titzchak Sora, there he translates it, Loshen Mochech, to laugh. Sarah laughed at it. She couldn't believe it. It was incredible. It was incredible. Lamadata, from here we learn, Shavram, Hem, in Avram, believe, Vesamach, and he rejoiced. Vesara, but Sarah found it hard to believe. Layamina, she did not believe. Veligla, and she laughed. Vizel, Sheik, Vedakadish Barcho, Asara. That's why God says, Lomazet, Sachak, Asara. Why did Sarah laugh? Avram laughed too. No, Avram rejoiced. Velehik, Vid, Al Avram. Halaven, yesh tmiyashin kayomis. There are questions which are positive assertions, rhetorical questions. Kamei hanigla niglesi haraya ata abzu hi kayomis. This is also one of those. Vekach Omar beliba, he said to himself, anasa chesed zeh. Is it possible that this kindness will be done? Laacham ashak hadish baruch hoistoli. After what God is doing to me, wow. Vimsara habas tishim shona hoisa kedai leilij. Will she be worthy? Vyaf al pishu deiris yishayna vayam meldim bene tov kub shona. Rashi says, wait a minute, we just learned earlier that the earlier generations were bringing children into the world at the age of 500. So why is Avram so shocked that at 100 he'll bring children into the world? This changed by the time we got to Abraham's times. People were bringing children into this world a lot younger. 
or bought Tasha's Koyach Le'olam because the lifespan became abridged and shortened and people became weaker. And Tzayelam Admi, Asar Adayda, Shemenei Echad Avraham. Look at the difference between the first ten generations, between Adam and Noah, and the second ten generations between Noah and Avraham. Shamir Hotel, they say, and B'nai Samach and B'nai they brought children into the world at age 60, age 70, the 500-year-old parenting is gone. In any event, Hashem promises Abraham a child. So Abraham, Abram, says to Hashem, If only, would it only be that Yishmoel would live before you, I'll be a very happy guy. Why do we even need this? Just make sure that Yishmoel gives me nachas and grows up to be a mensch. 18, Lu Yishmoel, Yichya, Halavai, She Yichya Yishmoel. Would it be that Yishmoel will live? Eni Kedai, the Kabbal Mountain, Sochor Kozeh. I'm not worthy of such a tremendous miracle. Yichya Lefonecha means to live before you as you should, as you expect him to, as one should, who is a child of Hashem. Kimei Yishalach Lefonai, Plach Kodmai, worship before me that Yishmoel should grow up to be God fearing. 19. By Yemer Alakim and God said, Abo, no. But Sora Ishtecha, Sora your wife, Ye Ledis Lechabain, she will bear a son for you. The Karosa Eshme, and you will name him, give him the name Yitzchak. Akimesi, and I will establish as Brisi Ita my covenant with him. Levis Elam as an eternal, everlasting covenant. Lazare for his seed, Achrab after him. 19, Avol, Loshen Amitas Dvorim. This is the truth of words, Avol, but, the Chain Avol, Hashem Emanachnu, Avol, Beinein Law, various examples. The Korosa, Eshme Yitzchok, Hashem Atzchek, because of the laughter. The Yeshem and mothers say that the word Yitzchok is made up of four letters. The Yud, which has the numerical value of 10. Represents Al Shem HaAsor is the ten tests which Abraham passed. The Tzaddik, which has the numerical value of ninety, is Tzaddik Shonam Shosara, the ninety years of Sarah's age when she gave birth. The Ches, the eight, the Ches is eight, represents the eight Yamim days Shenimal of circumcision. The Kuf and the one hundred is Shonam Shal Avram, is the one hundred years of Abraham's age when he fathered this child Yitzchak. Okay, uh, we skip the parenthesis, Rashi. We have Brisi, Bris Hamila, the covenant of circumcision. Tehem Esuda Lazare Shel Yitzchak will be transmitted to the seed of Yitzchak. The Rashi and the parenthesis in the Balaturim also brings down that Ubrisi Okim as Yitzchak, the word Okim in 21, stands for the language of the blessing of the Bris, Asher Kidesh. You did me better. Anyway, verse 20, Uli Yishmoel, Shmaticha, as far as your prayer, let Yishmoel live before you. I've heard your prayer. Hine Berachti, I have blessed him, Bifresi, and I've caused him to be fruitful. Bibesi, Aiden, to exceedingly multiply. Shnei Mosa, Nesim, Yelid, he will bring forth 12 princes. When his Satib, and I will make him the Gay Godel into a great nation. Twenty shnei mosa nesiim ka'anonim yichlo as the clouds they will disappear k'mei nesiim baruch clouds and wind. Twenty one we as brisi and my covenant okim I shall establish as Yitzchak with Yitzchak asher teil lechosara whom Sora will beget la meyed hazed this exact time mashana acheres next year this was the exact time of the fifteenth day of Nisan the first day of Pesach that is the time of this conversation, and that is the time a year later of the birth of Yitzchak. 22, by Yechal when Hashem concluded speaking with him, by Yal, Elohim, and Hashem ascended, may Al Avram, from his position of revelation to Abraham, he ascended on high. Rashi, may Al Avram, 22, Lashon Nekiyahu, Klapishchina, this is a modest expression, or a euphemistic, mystical expression. 
Vilimdonu Shatzadikim Erkafte Shal Hakadosh Baruch Hu. This is an allusion to a very important Kabbalistic teaching, repeated in Hasidus over and over and over again. That a true tzaddik is the chariot of Hashem. That a tzaddik has no agenda of his own. Everything he is and everything he does represents being a chariot to Hashem. That's the idea of Hashem ascending from his chariot, Abraham. 23, Vayikach Avram and Avram took Eshishmol ben Eshishmol his son. V'yes kol yulide beise and all of those that were born into his household. V'yes kol miknas kaspe and all of those whom he acquired with money, kol zachar every male ba'an she beis Avram amongst the men of Abraham's house. Vayamol and he circumcised es besar ar lawsom the skin, uh, the flesh of their foreskin. Be'etzem ayem azeh in the middle of this day, kashe dibri telukim as Hashem commanded him to do. Be'etzem ayem azeh be'i be'yem shenetzav on the very same day, ayem during the day ve'loi be'laylan at night. He didn't hide himself. He wasn't afraid. Not from the nations of the world. And not from the paparazzi, from the reporters, from the gossipers. And the reason he did this in a public setting is so that his enemies and contemporaries should never say, we would have never allowed this to come down. Had we been aware of it, had we seen it, we would never permit him to undergo circumcision and to fulfill this mitzvah. Avram did it in broad daylight and he challenged anyone to try and stop him. This is an active form. 24. Avram was 99 years old when he circumcised the flesh of his foreskin. This is nifal, passive. Can be he borum twenty five years small b'nei his son Yishmo ben Shleisha Srishana was thirteen years old be he mele when he circumcised Ez besar alosi the skin of his foreskin the flesh of his foreskin twenty five be mele Ez besar alosi by Avram le nemer Ez the word Ez is missing by Avram the pishul lehoya chaser al chitur baser because he just needed the cutting of the flesh shekvar nismaich because it had already been flattened al yedei tashmish through years of intimacy avol Yishmo. But Yishmuel, who was a young boy, they had to require the cutting of the foreskin, and the uncovering of the inner member. That's why it says, Ace 26. In the middle of this day, Avram and his son Yishmuel were circumcised. When Avram was 99 years old, Yishmuel and Yishmuel was 13 years old. Because when Yishmuel was born, we learned earlier, Avram was 86 and now he's 99. Nimal Avram be Yishmuel, B'nai Avram and Yishmuel were circumcised. 27, B'chol Anshi Beisai, all of his household members, Yilid Boyes, both those born in the house of Miknas Kesev and acquired by money, Meyes Bein Necher, from foreigners, Nimelu, all were circumcised Itay with him. And that is why to this day, when a father brings a baby into the covenant, he says, L'hachnisei, to cause him to enter into Bibrisa in the covenant, shall Avraham Avinu of our patriarch Abraham. End of Chumish portion.